Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this vectors problem, they tell us that each of the following vectors is given in terms of its x and its y components. So in this problem, we have to draw the vector and then we have to label an angle that specifies a direction and then find the magnitude and the direction. So this is working backwards from some of the other problems where we've done, where they give us a vector and say break it up into its components. This one, we have the components and have to go to the magnitude and the direction of the actual vector. For part A, they tell us the X component is 10 meters per second, and we'll label it 10 meters per second. And then the Y component is positive 30 meters per second. 30 meters per second. And so now when we draw the X component up here, we're doing the whole parallelogram strategy that they talk in the book about drawing vectors. So now when we draw the resultant vector, it'll be like this. And this will be vector V. Now we'll do the same thing for part B, and then we'll find all the components for them. So for part B, we go 20 meters per second squared in the positive x direction, 20 meters per second squared, and a positive 10 meters per second squared in the y direction meters per second squared. Doing the same thing will give us the resultant vector right like that. And that is vector A. So going back to part A, for this vector we need to find the magnitude and the direction and the angle that specifies it. There's two angles that you can do. Obviously you could do this one, which we'll call theta, and you can do this one, which we'll call phi. If you notice, these two angles are complementary, meaning that they both will add up to 90 degrees. So whatever this one is, we could take 90 minus it to get this one. That's a little beyond the scope of the problem here, but I just wanted to point that out, that the math will back that up, that when we get this one, they'll both add up to 90. It's just a double check that you could do. So for theta, we're going to use the, uh, let's use tangent because we have the opposite given and we have the adjacent given, 10 meters per second as well. So tangent of the angle theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. And so we need to isolate theta by taking the inverse tangent of both sides. So we have theta is equal to inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent. So now inverse tangent of opposite in for theta is 30 meters per second divided by the adjacent is 10 meters per second. So inverse tangent of three will give us this angle here. So inverse tangent of three, so we have 72, 72 degrees for theta. And now for phi, we'll use the same formula right here. Inverse tangent of opposite in this case will be 10 and the adjacent will be 30. So inverse tangent of one third. So inverse tangent of one divided by three gives us 18. So 72 plus 18 gives us 90. Now we need to find the magnitude for the vector. We can use Pythagorean's theorem for this portion, which says that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. We're trying to solve for C, which represents the hypotenuse for either of these triangles, this one or this one. It's the same in either way, of course. So we have to take the square root of both sides of the equation. So C will be equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. So C will be equal to the square root of 30 squared plus 10 squared. C is equal to... Ten root 10, so that gives us 31.6. We'll round that to 32 meters per second for the magnitude of that angle. And one component that I forgot up here with the angles is that we have to specify the direction. Is 72 degrees above the positive x-axis? And then 18 degrees is to the right of the positive y-axis the right. So that is important because we have to specify the direction. 
because if 72 degrees was for phi, it would be wrong. If 18 was for theta, it would be wrong. So we have to have the degrees and the direction for it. We have our formulas all isolated. So for part B, all we have to do is plug in the values for it. For theta, we'll have the inverse tangent of, we'll call this one theta here, and we'll call this one phi. So for theta, we have, this is 10 and this is 20. We have opposite is 10, adjacent is 20. So inverse tangent of one half. And then for phi, we have the inverse tangent of two over one, or 20 divided by 10. 20 is the opposite, 10 is the adjacent. So we have the inverse tangent of one divided by two. So we have 27 degrees, and the inverse tangent of two will give us 63 degrees, 27 degrees, and that is above the x-axis, above positive x, and then this one is 63 degrees, and that is to the right of the positive y-axis. Lastly, let's find the magnitude. So we'll be using this equation right here. C is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So the square root of a in this case we'll say is 20 squared and then b is 10 squared. So the square root of 20 squared plus 10 squared. So we have 10 root 5 and that will give us 22 rounded. 22 what? It is meters per second squared. So here's your answers for all the problems for the magnitude and direction for both of these vectors.